Hi friends, I'm gonna share with you a Christmas thrift haul and some bins haul that I found for gifting, for giving as gifts, and possibly for Christmas reselling. So I love going out thrifting, most of you know that. We also have a local bin store and I go on their dollar day and find some great deals for gifts for kids, clothes as gifts, um, essentials for the house, like hand soaps, things like that. So I thought you might enjoy seeing some gift ideas I found out thrifting and finding at the bin store. So I'm going to start with my most recent thrifting excursion. And I do have one marketplace find that I have that I'm going to share with you that I found for a good friend and something she'd been looking for. So let's start with the thrift store. First off is this like bunt cake pan, this heart shaped one, it was 25 cents. It's got a little bit of a copper hue to it. It can hang, so if you wanted to decorate with it, you sure could do that. I actually will probably put this in my antique booth that I have up at an antique store. You know, it's not an antique, but I will be putting that up there. Um, so this isn't anything gifted wise, although I'm sure a couple of my friends would use this as decor too. But I thought for 25 cents, I couldn't pass this cute little bunt pan up. All right, now for like gifting. So I like putting tins or cookies in tins. And some of these were like 50 cents, some 75 cents, but this was such an adorable tin. It was like a dad and daughter on the front there. And I just thought, how cute. I don't know what company it is, but 50 cents for this tin. It says on the top, share the warmth of Christmas. So wouldn't that be adorable to open up and have a few Christmas goodies in there with some tissue paper, of course, and just something that I don't feel bad not getting back. And it's cute. It's not just a plate. So I like having tins to give out. 50 cents for that. This one is a little more modern, so I just thought it still was cute. And it just says, Merry Santa, Snowman, Penguin. Again, a cookie tin. You could give other gifts in there if you wanted, but I really like having these, like I said, 25 cents for this one. Can't pass up a 25 cent Christmas tin for gifting. Okay, I had to get this. This was 75 cents. It is so rustic, cozy. I don't even know if I would use it in my home because right now it is currently not my style, but in our little cottage, wouldn't that just be so adorable in there? Um, give as a Christmas gift for someone to decorate with. It just looks handmade. It was not, but it just has that embroidery of the little almost Charlie Brown Christmas tree on there and the checkered. And I just could not pass this cute little picture up for 75 cents. This will be a fun way to give a gift. And I guess there's a little clip on here too. So this is just, of course, something you can give like fruits. I always give our pastor and his wife a fruit basket. So this would be really good for that. Um, it was 50 cents for this, but you could fill it with fruit basket, then a gift card in it. You could put soaps and lotions in it. So that is what I will be using this for. And again, 50 cents for something I'm not worried about getting back, but that is still really cute and that won't just get thrown away. All right, these, one of these I will be gifting. The other one I'll probably be keeping. These are so cute. I saw them as I was checking out actually. They are oil lamps, little mini baby oil lamps for 50 cents a piece. I wasn't sure if they actually worked, but the wicks going up and down they haven't ever been used. There's a full wick in the bottom. And one of my friends is always on the lookout for oil, oil lamps. I'm sure this one wouldn't last <laughs> very long, but isn't it so adorable in the green? You could absolutely put out for Christmas this like light yellow color and then this green color. So beautiful decor to gift and one to keep. Okay, the next three items are actually Christmas sweaters. So. Last year, I ended up buying up quite a few Christmas sweaters at thrift stores and reselling them because the ugly Christmas sweater phase is still around and at department stores, they are so expensive. But this is a very fuzzy 
reindeer sweater. I think it's a child's actually. It's a large, so this is not large on me. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. The brand is Gold, Gold Crush, I think. So I don't know if that's a kid's brand or not, but it is, looks kind of like something a kid would wear or lady. But anyways, that was, all these sweaters are $3, but I always sell them mar marketplace and they're, I don't have problems selling them. This was my favorite. So cute, it's no boundaries, so I think that's just Walmart brand. But blessed, all the extra little jingle bells on there. Really cute sleeves. So this was a large. Yeah, that's definitely a women's large. So really cute sweater. We always do ugly sweater Christmas card theme as well. So maybe I'll have to end up keeping this one for next year. And this one's just more of a crew neck sweatshirt with the Santa and a little bear on the bottom. It looks like it does have like a little bleach stain right there. So I'll have to mark that in my listing, but it is a Bobby Brooks brand large 1214. So this is definitely a women's large, but just like, like I said, a crew neck, actually it's probably yeah, a crew neck sweater. This I got for myself, to be honest, because it was in such good condition. This gold zipper really drew my attention. I wear vests around the house sometimes when I'm cold. And it was old navy brand, size medium, so perfect. It'll grow with my expanding tummy. Um, but my old black one I had is getting worn. So $3 for this nice vest. And it's not huge, so I like that. And just a few other random shirts. I got a maternity gray Eddie Bauer t-shirt. Those were 50 cents, I think. And then just a gray plain Eddie Bauer. Um, it's like gray Heather look t-shirt. It's a little worn at the end, but that will be post-pregnancy there. Okay, and then here is my marketplace purchase. I think most of you will really like this. It's a very adorable ironstone pitcher. I paid, I think I paid 18 for it total with shipping. Um, it's Kensington Stafford ironstone handcrafted. It's got a brown rim around it. Um, they shoved paper in there. They wrapped it so well when they shipped it, but got a little detailing here. But my friend had been looking, one of my friends had been looking for a creamer a white one that works for milk and cream when she has company over and that's large enough that you don't feel like you have to go refill it. So I thought this is probably like a one and a half cup creamer and or milk um, pour or syrup, whatever, but just so cute and I love the detailing of it. It's something I would definitely buy for myself. So I know she'll enjoy this and hopefully she doesn't watch this, but there she will be getting that couple things now from the bins so I said that I can go there on dollar day sometimes I purchase things on three dollar day um, a few items here for my kids and some nieces so today for instance I just picked up this puzzle connector it'll be great for my three and a half year old to help her learn her numbers better um, doing some like adding and subtracting and I just think she'll have fun connecting those together and figuring out how that works. So that was a dollar. So I thought just to put a few of these like learning gifts. I love buying learning gifts, some books and a few clothes. I don't buy a lot. She gets them from grandparents and one cousin exchange. So I don't need to give a lot because they already are getting quite a bit. So one little, couple little things from us is all they'll be getting. <laughs> one niece asked for a water bottle and we happened to find one on dollar day so you know simple things like that just a, a nice stainless steel water bottle and then the niece that we have for gifting um these little crafting stepping stones something like that um for a dollar so really affordable gifts when you have thrifting available when you shop secondhand when you have a bin store where things are reduced price and they're new 
So those are just some things I found. I do buy some things new, of course, for Christmas, but um, yeah, this is just what I had currently for some secondhand items and some things to resell. So hope you enjoyed seeing just that little haul of items I found recently. And again, I'll be bringing more Christmas decorating, more Christmas related videos here in the next week or so. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk with you guys in the next one. Bye.